In this video, I'm going to be talking about A-B testing, specifically in product design. A-B testing is also popular in marketing, but we are going to focus on its applications in product design. A-B testing, also known as split testing, is when you compare two versions of a design to see which one performs better. In essence, it's an experiment where you send different versions to different users to see which one meets an expected goal. Google and Facebook have popularized A-B testing. Google has taken it to the extreme by testing 40 different shades of blue to determine which color received the most clicks. A-B testing is one part of a larger iterative process to improve usability and conversion rate over time. A-B testing thrives as a testing method when you are looking to find small changes to optimize the current solution. For example, let's say you're working on a meditation app and your goal is to increase conversion from the free tier to the paid tier. In order to increase conversion rates, you can test the call to action button, you can change the color, shape, placement, and many more. It's important to identify a single goal and not make too many changes at once. You're introducing more than one variable at a time and it stops becoming an A-B test and becomes a multivariant test. Prior to running the A-B test on your meditation app, you want to start by gathering some baseline data on how your conversion rates are currently performing. This will give you a benchmark. You can also run other A-B tests to increase the number of downloads, but that should be a whole other project. Next, you should create variations of the design. You can use softwares to change the elements you are trying to test. Once it's live, the website visitors will be randomly assigned to one of the two groups, the control or experimental. Whichever software you use to conduct the A-B test will measure and review the analytics. Lastly, you should analyze the results from the test to see if there is a statistically significant difference between the two designs. It's important to iterate on your results and keep testing to find the highest performing design. Now that you have tested the different button colors, you can play around with the text. A-B tests are high value and low cost. Some common goals that companies have when conducting A-B tests are increased web traffic, higher conversion rates, lower bounce rate, lower car abandonment, testing copies such as add to cart first buy now, advertising copy, images, landing pages, and promotional emails. When conducting A-B tests, a success rate of 25% is really good, and you should expect an average of around 10%. So don't expect to completely transform your conversion rate on the first test. The downside to A-B testing is that you won't understand why customers prefer one version over the other. In order to understand the why, you should perform moderated or unmoderated sessions to supplement your A-B tests. This way, you can uncover your customer's thoughts and feelings towards the designs. This is powerful because you'll understand the context of your customer's preference. That's all on A-B testing. Subscribe for more insights on product and UX.